Hi, and welcome to today's lesson, Converting Decimals and Percents. Let's first start by looking at the word percent. We can break percent into per, which means part of, and cent, which means 100. Let's look at an example. Inside this grid, I have 10 by 10, which is 100 individual boxes. I can see here that I have four columns of 10 that are shaded. So what percent of this box is shaded? Well, if I know that I have 40 pieces that are shaded, it's simply 40%. Let's look at another example. In this box, I have 10 by 10 as well. So this is 100 pieces. And this time I only have four of them that are shaded. So the percent of shaded on this box is four. Notice that there's a very big difference between 4% and 40%. We're gonna look more into this as we do conversions. Looking at our original example, we had 4% and we know that that really means I have four pieces out of 100 pieces. I can think about this as dividing by 100 to go from a percent to a decimal because that is literally what the 4 over 100 means. A faster way of doing this is moving our decimal two places to the left. Notice that there is nothing inside this place value right here, so I'm going to add a zero. I'm going to go ahead and place my decimal and drop off my percent sign. So this right here is 0 0.4 or four hundredths. And if I am looking at this in the term of hundredths, I can see I have four pieces shaded. Let's look back at this example again. I remember that this is 40%. So that means that 40 out of 100 pieces have been shaded. So I could divide 40 by 100. The faster way of doing this is moving our place value two places to the left. I'll add my decimal and drop off my percent sign. Now think back to the blue 4%. We ended up with 4% was a decimal of 4 hundredths and 40% is a decimal of 4 tenths or 40 hundredths. So there is a very big difference we have to make sure that we're moving our decimal the correct number of places if we are going to use that method. Let's try another example. 93%. Pause the video and see if you can do this one on your own. So what we have here is our 93%. We're going to move our decimal place two places and we end up with 93 hundredths. Did you get that one right? If you did, let's try 5%. On this one, I had to add in a zero for my place value. So this one is 5 hundredths is the same as 5% and 93 hundredths is the same thing as 93%. So we could imagine this grid has 93 of those boxes shaded and this grid only has five of those boxes shaded, not even a full column. We also can go the other direction from decimal to percent. As you can imagine, it's the same principle. This time, instead of dividing by 100, we're multiplying by 100. So we can move two place values to the right. This time, we will be moving our decimal over and drop in adding on a percent sign. My decimal is still here. I just haven't written it because there's nothing following the decimal. So I can assume that this 82 is 82 point if you were confused about where the decimal is going. Why don't you try? Pause the video. Welcome back. So for this one, you should have moved your decimal place two times to the right. You added a percent sign and you dropped off the rest, giving you 9%. So this would be one of those uh, charts with only nine pieces shaded. On this one, you're still moving the decimal place two times. 
it's going to give you a number that is larger than 100%. That is okay. There are numbers larger than 100%. So as long as we remember, we're always going to be moving the decimal place twice. No matter if we're going from decimal to percent or percent to decimal, we should get the correct answer. Just think about why you're moving the decimal as to which direction. Let's recap. Move the decimal two places to the left or divide by 100 to go from percent to decimal. Remove the percent sign and add zeros for any missing place value. When we go from decimal to percent, we'll move the decimal place to the right or multiply by 100. And then we need to put the percent sign on the end. That wraps up our lesson. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to click the red subscribe button so you always have access to this and other lessons. Thanks again for tuning in. Until next time.